as we know by now, the midterm elections were a big win for the Democrats. But Republicans didn't make it easy for them. They gerrymandered districts. They created new voting restrictions. They even printed ballots on nude photos of Mitch McConnell. <laughs> and if the choice is vote or die, in that case, I choose die. <laughs> but even after Republicans were removed from power, they were saying, all right, fine, we'll leave. But we're taking the power with us. Outrage in Wisconsin and Michigan as lame duck Republicans attempt to strip power from elected officials before Democrats actually take control. Protesters ascended on the Wisconsin State Capitol today to crying what they are calling a last minute lame duck power grab by the state's Republican legislature. The Republican majorities in the state legislatures have moved quickly in the last days of unified governance to pass a slew of measures that would limit the authority of both the governor and the attorney general right before Democrats take those offices. This piece of legislation is a mess, it's a hot mess. Uh, uh, a hot mess? Who still says that? Does Wisconsin get their slang on a five-year delay? <laughs> well, it's a hot mess for shizzle. This legislation is officially off fleek. <laughs> now, hot mess doesn't even capture how blatantly corrupt this power grab is. Democrats in Wisconsin and Michigan have got... Democrats in Wisconsin and Michigan got hired to be governors. And now Republicans are making those positions less powerful before they take office. This, this, this would be like Marvel changing Spider-Man's superpowers now that he's black. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, okay, Miles, so you can't shoot webs and you, you, you can't climb walls, but you do get a monthly bus pass. <laughs> Welcome to the Avengers. And the powers being taken away are not small things. Like, you know, which kind of duck gets to be on the back of the state quarter, which, I mean, obviously, it would be the northern pintail. The mallet is such a obviously just <laughs> stereotypical... We'll talk about it later. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> right now, Republicans are basically trying to stop Democratic governors from carrying out promises that they campaigned on and that voters voted for, like campaign finance reform and protecting Medicaid. So this is voter suppression after the election. And it's despicable. But at the same time, I get where the Republicans are coming from. You don't want somebody to be happy now that you're out of the picture. If my girlfriend dumped me and started dating a new guy, I'd do the exact same thing. <laughs> like, all right, that's cool. You got a new dude. That's cool. That's cool. But y'all can't go to P.F. Chang's. That's my spot. <laughs> but not have no spring rolls with no new dude. <laughs> the ballsiest part about all of this is that Republicans don't even care enough to come up with a good excuse. Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald commenting that they are preparing for a divide in the Capitol. I'm concerned. I think that um, Governor-elect Evers yeah. is going to bring a liberal agenda to Wisconsin. God damn! <laughs> that was just the truth right there. He didn't even try to sugarcoat it. He's just like... The people of Wisconsin want this liberal stuff, and I don't, so f them. <laughs> I hope this guy's that honest about everything. You know, don't, don't worry, kids. We sent your dog to a farm upstate to have him murdered because he was old and gross. <laughs> <laughs>